Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's DK. Today we are making a Gundam, Justice Gundam, from Gundam Seed. Infinity Justice Gundam, from Gundam Seed. Flipping through manuals, I do see some X marks here, meaning we won't be using these parts. I've noticed that older Gundam models tends to have more pieces than the new ones, almost like a miniature master grades. But hey, more pieces means more fun, right? I will be skipping the base build part, but you can check out my Gunpla 101 series up top for detailed building. My cat Cory's been stealing the scene recently. I'm not sure what I missed in the anime, but the backpack and the body has a different magenta. Can you see? But overall, really solid build. Speaking of detailing, I've been practicing my scribing techniques and I can definitely see some improvements here. It's all about patience and practice. This build took a little bit longer than the other ones because I took my time and pay attention to detail. But trust me, the end result is always worth it. During this build, I've been experimenting with uh, various scribing techniques from using straight up guide tapes, using metal template with masking tapes. And I also tried cutting the guide tape into a metal template shape and using that multiple times here and there. I'm just trying out different stuff to make this build efficient. Making the base build took like two hours, I think, maybe a little less. But doing all these detail before painting, I think it took like 20 or a little bit more hours. And you know, some things just happens by accident because you see these white sponges on my videos. It's called a magic block, a melamine sponge. This thing cleans stuff by making a micro level scratches. And it works almost as if it's a really fine grid sanding paper. And I was subscribed to a Gundam blue box at one point and this came with it. It's basically some extra piece that you can glue it to your Gundam. I'm basically cutting it to a shape and size so I can fit it in this little hole. Things just start repeats, you know. It's the same piece, some pieces are just literally a duplicate left and right. But this is the Gundam making process. Cleaning is always important, but before you clean, you should try to brush out all the dust in between the cracks and dry them well so you don't have any hidden water droplets inside the holes. I'm using gray aqueous primer on most, thinking that I might do some masking on some pieces, so I needed a stronger bond. For inner frames, I went with the water-based gloss black because there was just going to be painted straight chrome. I'm using this gallery white because this is the only white I have, but I really wish I had some other ones. This Gaia is a lacquer. Doing some lacquer mixing. Again, you can check out more about painting in detail on my Gunpla 101s. And I basically ripped the label from the original bottle to my mixing bottle so I can tell what's what. This one's a V.A. Hill Green Fluorescent for the 
fluorescent green pieces. I'm doing the chest one and the eye one with that. These are just inner frame VAL model air chrome. I'm only masking two pieces. It's a little piece that goes on a shield and I'm also masking a gun. You know, they all came with the decal stickers, but you know, I try to make everything with the paint. And this is the star of the show, uh, Guia's Red. I literally used my room heater, heat up the label and cut the pieces and stick it into my bottle. I did like the original magenta that came with the Justice, but I wanted to change to like a brighter red. I bought this enamel coat for reverse wash details to come in later video. Peeling off masking is always satisfying. This is Iron Man. Little touch-ups, black with enamel. This masking came out really nice. I even sprayed some gold on the tip, so when it goes into the white housing, the gold peeks out. The basic paints are done. I liked most of the colors except white because the Galloway white was a little weaker than the other ones. I mean, I bought it as a practice paint, but I'm still using it, so my fault. And this is me trying the reverse wash for the first time. Basically, you're washing off the enamel top coat with the thinner. I actually made a mistake here. I should have started with the panel liner first, clean it, then move on to decal phase. So I stopped, took it apart, and started panel lining. I have three big boys sitting on my desk. The Full Mechanics Gundam Aerial, MGSD Freedom, and uh, MG Sazabi Verka. This Justice is actually the first Gundam build that I'm doing a full practice on. I was even able to get the full light kit for Gundam Aerial, so I'm excited to make that too. The builds usually ends with some touch-ups, fixing mistakes here and there, adding extra decal if it's suitable, it turned out pretty good and in order to protect your gunpla you should gloss coat it first because the glossy is the agent that actually hardens and protects your stuff but i'm not gonna like play with this thing so i'm just doing the ultra matte because i like the matte coat i was a little scared because i started seeing some like milky puddle but it was okay and here's the result I really think this is the best build I have ever made yet. I won't get better. Fluorescent paints working nicely. They're masked pretty well here and there. I did notice that on white surfaces, when I was applying water decal, it was making some bubble because it wasn't bonded enough, I guess. I really need to get some different white paints for next compass. And I noticed this while I was shooting the final shot, but somehow this Gundam looks like a Ava unit too. I am a huge Evangelion fan and I will be making a purple Gundam one day. You'll see, I'll do a good job on that one because that's my favorite robot. I was never trying to make this into a Asuka's unit, but it kind of looked like it, so whatever. Thank you very much for watching this video, and if you like the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next build. See ya!